This is one of my favorite things in the morning is being in the kitchen as the kids are getting ready for school. Oh my gosh. Is this Chad? <laughs> Who are we waiting on? She should be the first one down here. Here comes Russell. Hey, Russell. Russell's shirt says hustle, that rhymes uh, with his knee. Russell. Well, Russell There's doesn't hustle in the morning. My kids are walking zombies in the morning. Except Sherry. Hello. Who came running down the stairs like a gazelle. I think the word is gazelle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> gazelle. Giselle. Giselle is the name of the princess in a movie. <laughs> Our principal oh, call me Giselle. Julie just like, everyone calls you kicker. <laughs> Unit name. <laughs> Everyone will be teasing her the rest of her life for that. We we're talking about nickname one, nicknames one day, and Julie's like, "People at school call me Kicker," <laughs> and, and then Sherry's like, "Nobody calls you that." <laughs> we all she was trying to start her own nickname. There's nothing wrong with that. Julie laughed about it. Yeah. It's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Well, of all the nicknames you could have picked for yourself, I think it's sure cute. <laughs> My little kicker. Still reading the words of Isaiah. And they that swallow thee up shall be far away. The children whom thou shalt have after thou shalt have lost the first shall again in thine ears say. And, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. There's that in the Love that. Chad, I don't want you to go to school with your your room a mess. I want you to make sure you get your room picked up. Russell, you too. Make your bed, take the garbages out. Got it? Yeah. You've been going to school too many days with your room a mess. Julie, you too, your room's a disaster. Go get it done. Good morning, passengers. Today we are doing a morning routine. We did an after school routine. It's been a little over two months ago already. Um, we did a morning routine over a year ago, but every year our mornings look slightly different. And I'm noticing a pattern. They're slightly getting a little easier and a little more laid back. I think it means as a parent, I'm getting a little more laid back as I get older. Everyone has like a little job to do and mine is to take down the dirty laundry. Usually on Monday mornings I get up and I do a big breakfast. Something that's big enough that I can put in the fridge uh, the leftovers and then feed the, the kids the rest of the day so I don't have to get up and do a homemade breakfast every single day. And we are not above doing cereal. We do cereal a lot around here as well. But today I'm gonna cook up some breakfast burritos and make up a whole ton extra so that we can just put them in the fridge. I've never actually rolled up the burritos and put them in the freezer or the fridge, but I'm gonna try that today. Why aren't you dressed? Uh, my clothes are in the dryer. I like your hair. That's funny. Um, we're just talking right now about a video that Sherry's doing for her channel. She wants to do a video of just how we get thumbnails. It's pretty you crazy. Think it's easy, but it's not. Which is a reminder, I actually need to get a thumbnail this morning. 
it's not the favorite part of uh, vlogging. It's probably one of the least favorite, but that's what we do. This is one of my favorite things in the morning is being in the kitchen as the kids are getting ready for school. The kids come in and they are making their breakfast, but it gives me a chance to talk to them and just get to know them a little better. The kids have pizza day today. I've already purchased pizza and I've mentioned before I did it wrong. I thought I was ordering for how many days and I ended up putting in how many slices. Anyway, long story short, we have like five slices every Monday. I know. Every Monday the kids have five slices of pizza a piece. I, don't even eat I ordered like 35 slices of pizza for every Monday. Pieces. It's crazy. Do you get six? Look at his hair. Chad gets six. I get six. Do you like Chad's hair? I do. I told him I liked it. He's still waking up though. You know what? I think I used up the peanut butter. You'll have to go downstairs and grab no, it. No, I'm right here. You I get the lucky charms again. <laughs> Chad's been hiding the cereal again. He hid the oatmeal cookies. Did you hide the oatmeal? No, I, I saw hate those oatmeal one. cookies. No, I saw those downstairs They're yesterday. Yeah, yeah, they they also, somebody hid them. I hate oatmeal cookies. When I buy brownies, you guys should each get one so everyone can enjoy one. Yeah, you get one. You guys hoard them and then one person gets five and the rest. I got one. I didn't get any. That's I why you get one. a lot. All right, so our morning routine goes something like this. We get up at 6 a.m. and we read scriptures and have prayer. And that lasts about 15, 20 minutes, depending on how fast we can get out of bed. And then everybody goes and gets ready. Supposed to. We have had kids not ready before. Okay, we have to leave in 15 minutes. I don't, you guys, we're, we're almost ready to eat. Okay, we're going to do a thumbnail. We're going to do a thumbnail. This is the best part, right? Come over here. We're all just gonna crowd together. Okay, and I don't know if I want everyone just looking at the camera or if we yeah. should be. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm too tired to smile. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Hey guys, he's here. So because our school is so far away and mom isn't able to take us all because she still has Eve at home, we hired a driver in our neighborhood to take us up every day and pick us up. Goodbye, man. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you. Where's your socks and shoes? Do you have socks and shoes? Yep. Oh, you just didn't put them on yet? Bye. Okay, who are we missing? I still haven't seen Abby go. Bye, sweetheart. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> and they're gone. So at this point, um, Eve's still sleeping. We've tried waking her up and have her do this with us in the mornings and she just like, it's just too much. It's too much. I don't know what it's going to look like next year when she starts going to school. Maybe I'll have to sign her up for afternoon because I just have the hardest time getting her out of bed. At this point, I try to do a little bit of cleaning up in the kitchen because, oh no, he left his lunch. Abby forgot her lunch too. Okay, I'll go get it. Hold on, just a second. Oh my gosh. It's really important that they don't forget their lunch because they are gone so long. Okay, thank Bye. you. I, the reason it's so important that they not forget their lunch is because they go to school so early in the morning. It's 7.30 and they're gone. Today they won't get home until five. So they're gone a long time. I know some of you are like, oh, that's nothing. I know, a lot of you are gone a long time too. Um, do you have any tips for us who, this is our first year being gone that long and we're still trying to figure it out and it's taken us about a month to figure out, oh yeah, you pack two lunches. So you have a lunch at lunchtime around noon and then you can have a little sandwich or a snack right after school. And then by the time they get home, then they can have dinner around 
six or seven. So we're we're still figuring it out. And any any tips you guys have, I would I would gladly glean from. Now I'm out of breath. Okay, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen, and then I'm gonna go cuddle in with Eve. You're about to see why the youngest gets spoiled. I've had a really hard time getting Eve to get out of bed. And then when she does get out of bed, I have a hard time getting her to eat. I have a hard time getting Eve to eat, period. And it's not because she's a picky eater. It's because she just doesn't have an appetite to eat. She would rather play, talk, twirl, <laughs> play unicorn, than eat. And it became, I've noticed it has started becoming a problem because she's not growing. <laughs> For the last couple months, I've been very strict about trying to watch her eat so I know exactly what's coming in to her body and I know that I'm doing my part. She eats really well if I bring her breakfast in bed because she just wakes up and she eats. You give some and you take some. Just don't spill it. Eat, eat a bite of the burrito. But not the banana because it got that stuff on it. It got sour cream on it. That's okay, you can still eat it. Just lick it off. I'm full. You're full? You ate two bites of burrito, that's good. Can you pick up your banana and need another big bite of your banana? Oh yes, I love bananas. Good girl. This has actually turned out to be one of my favorite times of the day, is just sitting here watching Eve eat breakfast talking and singing and we learned a new song today and I said give me a thumbs up if you like the song and do a thumbs down if you don't like the song and what did you do I thumbs up Jesus said love everyone treat them kindly too when your heart is filled with love others will love you that is my morning routine. I'm not sure what I'm going to do when uh, Eve goes off to school. I'm going to have very many hours at home all by myself. <laughs> Which means boring videos for you. Um, I'm thinking maybe in the future when she is in school all day of starting a, another business, going back to school. There's a few options, but things, things will change when she goes to school and it's going to be exciting. And it's, and it's gonna be sad because it's the closing of another uh, chapter in my book. Do you guys have any suggestions for me of what you would like to see me do when all of the kids are in school and I have several hours without any responsibility directly to the children? So let me know what you think I should do with my time. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.